Hi. Well, this is another in the series on the World War II concrete that I've been looking at. Uh, boom. And this one was what got me really interested, Swinley Forest. I saw this on a TV program. It's not far from where I live in Bracknell. And um, this is the first in the series because we go back later in the year. In fact, we went back twice in this video. But we go back later in the year for an update. And I want to do it in sequence, yeah. If you're really gratuitous, you go directly to 51 degrees, 22, 11 and a half minutes. And westerly 44, uh, that were north that was 44, 10.4. Uh, and the reason we have to explain this is because where the internet says it is, is not where this thing is, yeah. Um, so let's carry on now. Um, so one of the useful URLs which got me interested is this one here. This is about the origins of Swinley Forest. And if we click on there, it should take us to the location. Um, and if you scroll down, and I'll put the links in the in the text of the video. If you scroll down, it tells you that during World War II, um, let's make that a bit bigger, uh, a section of the uh, forest was used for the blue line, the stop line. Um, and so you can look that up and you can see where they built some defenses. There were natural gullies and uh, there's a really nice pillbox we cover in a later video that's to be made uh, down near Bagshot, where it has a beautiful view down a valley. Um, but yeah, so that's why I started looking at this thing. And also, I saw this really interesting uh, finding from Tim De uh, Denton. So let's click there. And in this one, Tim wrote, and again, the, the, the links will be there. You can join this group. Um, it was not on the original date of uh, Defense of Britain. So and I often say, look on the database first. You wouldn't have found it. Um, and this is the grid reference he gives. And uh, this is badly out, but we'll see that in a minute, okay? So he went to talk to a ranger that said he'd found some stuff in the ground. Tim took some pictures, and you notice how clear it is to see at this point. But there's a lot of trees around it, okay? But it's pretty clear to see. Um, and he explains it in nice details. It's got some sort of writing on the blocks. And it's got this beautiful, uh, really well-drawn map, a schematic of what you're looking for. And then, as you said, the coffins and the dragon's teeth and what have you. So this is what got me interested. And I thought it was near um, Prince Edward's house in Swinley, but uh, I didn't know and I was wrong, yeah? Um, so you normally you map on Google Maps. Um, in fact, if I just go back to the thing here you can see on the grid reference finder i've put in the grid reference that tim says where it is okay 882638 and it's here so okay my wife and i went there uh, had a walk in the forest found this stuff which looks like concrete it's in fact um hay or something like that it's kind of a decaying hay uh couldn't bloody find it here yeah now let's go under the google map so i normally click here go under google maps and I think I said in an earlier video, I mark with the stars, uh, the sort of gold or orange color, I'm colorblind, I don't know what they are. Um, so again, when you look here, you see those characteristic markings and Tim says it's here. And I look around here for bloody ages with my wife and she was telling me that it's not there and don't I know anything. So oh, I trust Tim, he's put it there. But as we know, these grid references can be um, six digit, they can be 100 meters out. If that's 50 meters, that's 100 meters. So it should be anywhere in a square like that, yeah? Well, actually, if we zoom out, let me go the right way, it's over here. And if that's 100 meters, that's, again, 100, 200, 300. And on the earlier video, it was over here. So it depends where you type it in, what you get. And so this is where the, the actual place is. Um, who knew, yeah? Um, so... You know, when you go looking for things, you do internet search, but you still don't find it. So, um, as I said, it took a couple of weeks of walking around the area. We were looking for this. And it should be clear as day. As you saw on Tim's photographs, it was trees in the way and um, all these bits of concrete sticking up. OK. Um, well, my wife is a detective as such. She looked back and said, you know, why does it say this bike route called the tank trap, Steve? I don't know, maybe they made a mistake. Is it, could it be there? And of course, in those famous things, I told you so. So she found it. And this is her, look, mate, you're, you should listen to me. Yeah, she's right. These, she's about five foot two, five foot three. So this is a, just over four foot. These are the RSJs that, that um, Tim was talking about. Um, 
so you get some idea of what's there. There's the line of the RSJs and a bit more of the sand wall. And then this is what you see in the landscape. I don't, I don't know about you. I'm pretty, pretty colorblind, but I don't see any coffins or any, any blocks there. Yeah. So that's what we found. And we thought, OK, let's ask our kids to come back because they're, um, they're smarter and we're younger. Yeah. So time of year is useful. We went in July. Winter is a better time because the ferns have died down or dead. But I couldn't wait that long because I'm a very impulsive autist guy. As we say, more eyes are better than one. Having theories is a good idea. Um, and it's good to take detectives with you when you walk. You can discuss stuff and actually just cover the day. And you don't realize how far you're walking. That's the beauty of it, yeah. I'm pretty colorblind. So brown, green, red, all those sorts of things together in, in a mirror I can't see. And as I said, it's about taking your time and relaxing. Take, take a good walk and get a bit fitter. And the thing about a lot of these locations, they're in pretty socially distanced places. So you you shouldn't bump into too many people there. So that's the idea. Here's my, my middle daughter. She's a fitness instructor. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Um, so basically, she found a block. And then we found a few more blocks there. Is that the original? No. But then we found one of the originals. And that was just about sticking up over the fern. So it just even it just a month it come back. And it's this one here. So we we knew it was down here somewhere, but we couldn't see these coffins or whatever is Tim's calling them. Uh, as he said, moss covered, it's it's more than that. Um we could see this, because you saw the pictures of my wife standing there. We could see the RSJs up in the way, the rails, but we couldn't find these things. And it took quite a bit of walking around. And the block that, that she's standing on here is actually over this way. And in the video later, I'll show you the landscape where you look back in this direction. So this block is actually over here. Tim hasn't marked those on the map. Um, so there's a few more bits of concrete there. And this isn't natural yet. It's not a normal stuff. Not least because, well, you've, as you said, the moss growing on it, these like the um, the concrete because they're alkali. They like the, the alkali in the um, in the uh, in the concrete um, so the things growing on there are not indigenous species yet so this isn't local um, so we found the old one it's easy isn't it no it took quite a lot of time my wife was pacing it out and she could spot things better than me she's into nature and stuff if you look very carefully in this picture here you might be able to see a concrete block uh, damn I think it's over this way but they're damn hard to see actually I think it's there yeah, if I look at it on my screen, but there is a concrete block in there, yeah, and that's what you normally find in these places. It's all been hidden, and, and as I said in the very opening title, 51 degrees 22. This is where you'll find it, okay? Um, so again, in this case, when Tim did this, he did the initial hard work of rediscovering it. Um, this wasn't on the uh, Defence of Britain database. It is now. Even when you look it up, it's in the wrong place. I think it's in the wrong place. So when you put those digits into a standard national grid reference or whatever, it's badly out. Um, and don't know why, but it is. Uh, my wife did the detective work and found it. So I will try and contact them via the official channel and say, hey, guys, I think it's really over here. And here's the Google Maps to prove it and whatever. Here's a video to do it. Um, and like we said, you're rediscovering stuff. And my aim is to get fitter. So it's about walking and giving a motivation to go and explore a countryside. Yeah. Um, and, you know, to be respectful to the people we find here. So what we're going to do in a minute, we're going to show some field videos. And obviously, if you only came for the location, you could have skipped that at the very first slide. If you're interested in some of the detective work and what's around, uh, then this is what that section was. And then we're going to talk about the the videos or some of the rushes of the videos about where we walked around and found stuff and how we look for stuff. So thank you for watching. Um, oh, yeah. If you want to subscribe to my daughter's channel, if you're wanting to get fit, let me just find that. Um, she is available here. So she is starting out. She's a National uh, Association of Nutritionists. She's a PT. She's qualified now. She wants to help women gain confidence in the gym. And she's starting a PhD in sort of coffee and things that make your nutrition better. So that's the plan. OK, thank you for your time and bye bye. Here we are in the tank traps of Swinley Forest in Deep Berkshire, where they apparently experimented a line to defend Britain in World War II.
Right, let's go. Where will he go? That's How'd you get in there? Ugh. Good. Carefully. So you get in there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where's the other ones? There's one there. Oh yeah. There. Is there another one over there, I think? You can't see them from looking that way, you have to look this way to see them. Oh, well, that's a broken up one of these, or that's more of a, you know, one of those triangular blocks like over there. There's one there. Some here, look. Some here. Oh, there's... Which direction then? Tank. Tank. Going, that way, Going that way across there. So there's another one here, Josh. Tank. Yeah. Tank. Where? I'm standing right next to it. Oh yeah. yeah. Directly in the fern. Yeah. Where are we going then? Where are we going? Where are these things? Come this way, where? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They're about every so many okay. feet. I can't see you. Oh, there you are. Not sure that might be one under there. Three, possibly. Four. There. Four. Oh, yeah. Five. The plethora. So these are some extra stones not marked on the internet map and you can just about see in the distance here when zoom in the distance here the metal bars the rebar on the other map so the the main wall is over in this direction 